Hello guys, and today I'm going to talk about the scrapping of the tampon tax in Britain. The what? What? First of all, what is a tampon for those people who, whose first language is not English? Well, a tampon is a sanitary product that women put into their vaginas to stop them bleeding um, when they have periods, okay? And for many years, Britain has charged a 5% tax on such products, OK? Now, many activists in Britain weren't happy about this and campaigned for the government to um, change the tax rules so that we wouldn't have to pay the tampon tax, as it was dubbed. Amazingly, the government agreed. At the time, the government said, we agree you shouldn't have to pay tax on this. We ourselves agree it's wrong. But the evil EU are making us do it. So therefore, in Britain, while we were still members of the EU, we could not scrap the tampon tax, even though the government thought it was immoral. This was one of the reasons why people voted for Brexit. So that governments could do what they wanted and the public could campaign against their government um, doing things and hope their government would change mind rather than the government saying, we agree with you, we agree with you campaigners, but these unelected bureaucrats in another country won't let us do it. So, um, we left the EU in January 2020. But we agreed to follow the vast majority, probably even all, of their rules until the 31st of January, sorry, 31st of December, I apologise, 2020, 11 o'clock. The government said that once that period ended, then the tampon tax would be scrapped the next day. So, given that the transition period ended at 11pm on the 31st of December 2020, on New Year's Day 2021, women all over Britain could celebrate the scrapping of the evil tampon tax, which the, the British government themselves thought was immoral and wrong. There's a load of blurb about it on the BBC website. <coughs> One of the reasons for this, for example, was that the EU um, claimed that sandwich towels were non-essential items in their view. Um, the British public did not agree with it. And... And BBC website goes on to discuss, um, news website goes on to discuss how there were some campaigners against it and things like that. Um, and how finally the public and these campaigners and even the government have got their wish of scrapping the tampon tax. Amazingly, Ireland also doesn't have a tampon tax despite being in the EU but I believe that's because they created some um, special rules before the EU introduced theirs and they had a special exemption because of it but, but um, Ireland I believe is the only country currently in the EU that does not have a tampon tax because they'd introduced some special rules before the EU brought in their rules and for some reason the island was given a Reprieve because of that. I don't understand it all, okay? So you'll see here a list of countries that also don't have the tampon tax, okay? So there you go, guys. Um, after finally leaving the EU and ending the transition period, Britain now has its sovereignty and can now allow women to have cheaper sanitary products.
by not paying the evil tampon tax, okay? One of the benefits of being independent. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!